Yep. They're starting to work over there. That's good. They want to try to get it done. They're measuring and everything. It's like my dad Marcel took down the side porch wall and redid it. Then we all repainted painted it. Using a ruler, measuring, and they got a cord in case if they fall. Like stuntmen do. We saw a sign on a building that carries for why is it having babies and all that stuff. Baby, baby clothes and stuff, but it had a banner on the side. Our heroes, God bless them and protect them, or something like that. But it was a plan of salvation message on it. I thought that was cool. And went by my, my mom's house, Darlene's house, and I saw Bobby's Dodge black tr truck. And Cheryl's red car, and they had those four houses that are that were pre-made to put on there. The first one was there for the longest time. It was green, and they painted it yellow. Then the other three added on, because I saw how they did it. We were at a at the bus stop, and a big 18-wheeler 18-wheeler truck had a trailer. And he just loaded the house and landed it down. Mrs. Troy said that's what you call a pre-made one. And I've seen on TV on a Bloodhound Gang Junior Teen PBS station thing. They were a mystery of the missing house. And then they showed a video of a helicopter that has a cut in it, empty space, and it's carrying a house. So that's how the vanishing house went. And then I, Tommy showed me, and John Sloan had the same thing, where a Halloween one where it says trick or treat, and it showed a mailbox, and Marvin got, sees the house, it goes poof. So basically, Copper did a trick and said a treat. Ever get out of a poop, the whole house disappears. And the mailbox says David Copperfield or DC on it, stands for David Copperfield.